we're back in the shop over at Redneck's Dirty Hands. JP brought his uh, cross cart back to the main shop to do some uh, wiring. Must be the Italian version, because there's a lot of uh, spaghetti right there. <laughs> make it work first, then make it pretty up. All right, so you think you got her uh, to the point where she's ready to go? 50-50. Ooh, I like that. Fuel pump's working. Overtime. Okay. See you. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> oh, gotta get the computer and see. I might have the cam sensor backwards. Oh, that's. I hate it when that happens. <laughs> so. What you got here is your typical wiring harness. I mean, it's pretty straightforward, self-explanatory. I mean, you know, that wire goes there, and that wire goes there. <laughs> Hopefully somebody knows where they go. <laughs> but we're uh, getting there anyway. It's an apex motor and a... Uh, JP original chassis here. That uh oh that fuel cell looks pretty nice. Whoever made that, uh pretty talented fella. <laughs> <laughs> Got the fuel pump rigged up on there. The nice little tablet's gonna be the dash, I guess, eh? Yep. Nice one, high tack redneck. Now you might be wondering why we're even bothering with all this spaghetti mess. Seeing how it is just an apex engine, well, the reason why we are is because uh, that big old turbo right there, the, the whole idea is that little computer box there, the micro squirt, it's going to convert this basically to like your regular car with an OBD2 set up, and we can run this Closed open loop. loop, getting information from all the sensors, so as we add boost, it'll compensate and add fuel, so we can run our with the air fuel ratio the way we want it and hopefully not blow it up make it a little bit more self-managing get the high horsepower out of it so that's JP's division here now you'll get her done eh? Oh, yeah. well yeah well JP's fiddling with the laptop there not sure if we did a walk around on this thing here he's had it in his garage over at his house for most of the summer they're tinkering away with it. Came over and stole my golf cart steering rack, so he's got nice steering. Stole a racing seat that Darren gave to me, but I figured Paul could use it, so why I not? I didn't steal that. You gave that to me. <laughs> he's got some wheels off the old Subaru. He's got the whole the rear diff from the Subaru mounted in there. Shocks off his apex. Some jack shafts, some sprockets going. She's gonna be just dandy. And I mean, if you don't have any lug nuts laying around, just clamp the wheel on with some vice grips. That's what they're made for. <laughs> Custom pedals here, a little bit, a uh, little bit on the uh, dinky side. Might have to reinforce those. But I was thinking there, you should just keep the gas pedal, and we'll just do the hand hydraulic handbrake. So all you got is the go pedal and the handbrake. That's it. You don't even need the handbrake. Well, you need some sort of brake. <laughs> Check spark. Use fingers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun with that one. You've never been tased? Yeah. Oh, look at that spark. Oh, she's sparking. That's got, uh, that's lighting up like a Christmas tree.
And we're not using the stock stick coils that come on the Apex. We're using some LS coils from a GM pickup. Oh yeah, make this sucker spin! She no go! No. Okay. You ready? <laughs> I don't know. Are you? <laughs> It does. Uh, yeah, same thing that the R1 did. But it's shooting some flames. It is shooting flames. <laughs> well, let's get that firing order the right way. After a quick wardrobe change and one night's sleep, JP scratching his head and <laughs> couldn't figure it out. She was a no-go yesterday. Hit a bit of a wall. And then uh, Scooter, who was here last night helping JP, said... Uh, we almost had it going, but he touched something down in there. <laughs> so, <laughs> JP, I think, has found what he touched down there, and we're ready to uh, try it. Oh, come on, Betsy! <laughs> JP's got a big whole grin on his face. It's like, take three. <laughs> That's very good. That's some, uh... Look at that sucker spinning. <laughs> Nice. Let's see the smile. Because last night, and when you first got here, you were not smiling. No, there was a whole lot of uh, <laughs> bullshit going on. <laughs> Straightforward. Straight well, the spaghetti nest actually works. Fancy tablet dash and the cross cart from the high tech redneck. All the information you'd need there. Let's see if she works. Nice little backfire. Oh, one of them that have connected it. Hold on. Not bad for snowmobile motor running with GMLS coils and a little tiny <laughs> aftermarket computer box and you got <laughs> automation uh, wire blocks and it's quite the uh, quite the setup. Okay, so just to make sure that it's not a fluke. Try her again. <laughs> so, it works. Jeez. Now that is aftermarket, little micro squirt computer running Yamaha Apex motor with a turbo on it. So all we got to do is finish the rest of the project, make the air go 
From here? Into the motor? Weld everything else up? <laughs> get some brakes on it? Get some exhaust on it? Get the intercooler on it? Get everything else on it? All that's left is everything, right? So <laughs> stay tuned, check us out, subscribe. We'll see if we can get this thing done and ripping it's one day. Not today, but one day. Oh yeah!